Hello, I will show you the inside spin draw shot. That is my favorite. And here you can see after I hit the one ball, the cue ball must come here. But how do you get position for the two ball? The cue ball must come up here. So what I do is I draw the cue ball back here and change the angle with spin so it comes back up. Because I, I can't hit here with the cue ball to get the natural angle, so I must hit on the on the this side of the side pocket, which uh, which has the wrong angle. But when I use inside spin, I change the angle so the cue ball comes back up. So let's do it. I use a lot of draw and inside spin. Like that, and there you see, cue ball went back up, and I have a position on the cue ball, so I can run out this rack. Okay, let's show another example with inside spin. On this shot, you you can't make the four ball in the side, and you can't hit the cue ball here to get the natural angle for the five ball. So you must draw it back and use inside spin to make the cue ball come back up for the five ball. So let's do it. Like that. And that's a, that is a good uh, shot to learn if you want to if you want to win the game. So it becomes easy if you practice it a lot. Okay, so I will uh, I will continue with the inside spin. Okay, let's let's say you must hit here with the cue ball. Okay, but but you can't come up too far with the cue ball because the angle you get here it means that uh, the cue ball will come up here but you if you use inside spin you will stay on this area for the sixth ball otherwise you go too far with the cue ball so let's do inside spin again like that and the cue ball stays on this side so you get a good shot on the sixth ball okay so now i will show something easier something that comes up very often in a match it is a kill shot if you pick, if you get uh, if your angle if you have a too high angle for the two ball, you need to kill the cue ball to come up for the three ball. And that is something you get often in a match. So normally, if you just roll it in, you roll in the two ball, the cue ball goes too far here, you see? So you need to kill it in, on the rail. So how you do that is by you try to delay the contact with the rail as long as possible. And you do that with a draw shot. So when you draw the cue ball, instead of the cue ball going there, the cue ball goes there instead. So it has a chance to slow down longer. And when you hit the cushion here, you use inside spin, which will kill the cue ball. You see, with inside spin, it stays on this area of the table instead of going there. If you use outside spin, it will go there. If you use inside spin, it will stay. 
So you, you, you need to use a combination of jaw and inside spin to make the cue ball stay on this side of the table instead of going too far. So let's do it. I use maximum jaw and inside spin. You see? Look how much it killed on the rail. And now I will do a roll shot without any spin. Okay? No kill shot at all, only center ball. Let's see how far the cue ball goes. And it had to shoot very soft, you see? The cue ball can't stay in position for the three ball. It is not possible. So let's shoot this harder and make the two ball. Let's make it soft. Okay, I made the two ball and you see the cue ball went too far. And now let's do the kill shot with draw and inside spin. Okay, draw and inside spin. You see, you see the big difference. Instead of going here, the cue ball stays here. And that is the great thing with the inside spin draw shot. Let's make uh, another example. I want to kill the cue ball on this, uh, on this side of the table. So let's say, you want position for the three ball. So you have this much angle on the two ball and you need to kill it. So how do you do it? You use inside spin and draw. Okay. You see, cue ball stayed here instead of going too far. Now let's do it with no spin at all and we will see what will happen no spin you see you don't get position for the three ball and now let's do the same shot with outside spin you can do outside spin here let's see where the cue ball goes outside spin see the cue ball goes too far again so what you want to do here is to use the kill shot again with the inside spin inside spin and the jaw and that is the best way In yeah it was like this okay and now I use draw and inside spin And that is, that is how you kill the cue ball and let it stay on, on a small area. And that is the end of this video for the jaw inside spin. And that is my favorite shot. I use it often.